Is it a spaceship? Or is it a car? Was it sent here by time travelers? Or was this car just too far ahead of its time? The BMW M1 Pro car is a stuff of legends. A striking wedge shaped design boasting a powerful six cylinder inline engine able to make up to 1000 horsepower in the group 5 configuration. Designed by an equally legendary designer. Giorgio Giugiaro, designer of a few little known cars like the DeLorean, the Lotus Esprit and the friggin Volkswagen Golf. The M1 was a commercial failure, but it gained its legendary automotive status when the car got its own racing series. It was even used in the Group B rally racing scene, which was also pretty cool. Today we're taking a look at the Automobilista 2 version of the BMW M1 Pro car and we're driving it on the Hockenheim ring. So here we are on the Hockenheim ring with the BMW M1 Pro car and we're gonna see if we can do five laps with this old thing and survive because this is absolutely a beast. Um, you guys told me it was a beast and yeah I tried it out and it's been very successful I like it very much especially on something like the Hockenheim ring which is a very very good track for it oh come on these AI by the way they're so aggressive it's crazy Look at these guys. I'm not even interfering with them. They're just bumping and bruising with each other. It's like Fight Club, but everybody knows about it. And everybody with a BMW M1 car is invited. Okay, it'll break a little early here. Ooh. Okay, we can just steal a few places by... By cheesing the AI. You gotta get your, your advantages where you can take them, right? Uh, I don't know why, but the AI loves to break here. So we can take advantage of that as well. Oh! Come on! This car is a little less wrestling than the DTM cars, uh, but... I don't know, it, it makes it feel, it, it's still a lot of mechanical grip that you gotta wrestle with, but uh, somewhat less than the boxier uh, DTM cars. I guess because this this car is just a lot flatter, has a big old rear wing, oh, that's hopefully given a little bit of downforce, but it's still a car from the 80s, so the technology was there, but it wasn't advanced at all. It was still in its infancy, actually. But because this car is so flat and, and has, I think it has a pretty low center of gravity. It, it just drives like a dream boat. Like, imagine the perfect guy, you know? Every guy from a rom-com. This car is like the embodiment of that. Oh god, I thought he was gonna go way more to the inside this orange and black car ah. like if um, Matthew McConaughey was a car he would be this car if he was German as well okay there's no sixth gear I <laughs> I hadn't tried that okay okay now hard on the brakes here because these AI they love to just bunch up here and make a big old pile up But yeah, these cars are very, very cool. I like it very much. And ever since they put DTM and the M1 Pro car in into Automobilista 2, it's been just a whole different game for me. It's been so much fun. Oh, a little too fast there. Oh God, that's what I mean with the AI. They're <laughs> super aggressive. They don't want you to pass at all. Alright. 
Oh, that's the wrong gear. No problem, luckily. Ooh. I love it when a plan comes together and you pass them like that. Now the AI, they don't know how to defend that well, but they, I think they're better in Automobilista 2 than some other games. Like in Assetto Corsa, I always feel that the AI is just following their designated path. And when they get off of that, like, racing line, they try to get back on it as fast as possible. Which uh, results often in some, some crazy wacky antics. But these guys, they just love to bash each other in the head. They're like caveman. I feel right at home. Ooh, almost hit him. Can we cheese the AI again? Okay, a little bit, a little bit. Maybe I should put it in first gear in that corner. I think we're gonna have a way better launch if, the, if we do that. Okay, can we take it on the inside here? No. Oh. oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, yes. See you later, buddy. Pop us here with a brand new bag. I don't know what that means, but I said it and I stand behind it. Oh, oh my God, bro, I'm on your side. Uh, oh, we're in fourth position. We're at the, the front of the field already. Jeez Louise, we're doing great. Uh, I should not have said that, by the way, because uh, this is the perfect time, right after you say we're doing great, oh god, to make a very big mistakes. But I love how you can just jump over the bumps and not care with this car. It's the same for those DTM cars. I think they really did an amazing job with them in Automobilista 2. Oh god, yeah, that's why i kind of hesitant with the first gear. Just get that snap oversteer. And if you've been watching what I'm doing with this wheel, it's a lot of wrestling around and I like that very much in a car. And because the force feedback of AMS2 is so well done, you really get the feeling that you are really in control of the car, even though it is a little... Well, it's like in its teenage years, you know? It's a little rebellious. Okay. Oh god, oh god, yeah, there we go with the almost a big mistake happening. But the car... Ooh, there we go. First place, buddy. Oh, God. But the car is a little rebellious. It doesn't... If you, if you are responsible with it... Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep it on the track. Ah, oh, shucks. There we go. We lost first place. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't know what I hit there, but... Come on. Oh, Lord. This is not good. But we're back on track. Oh, that's that's bad. So what I wanted to say is that these car, uh, you gotta be really kind of careful with them. I would say just firm and respectful. You 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 shouldn't overstep their boundaries, and then they'll listen. I like that, you know, just on the edge of control, and I love that feeling that you and the car, you're both racing. It's not just you giving the car commands. Like this car, they really translated its uh, personality well uh, into the game. Although I don't know how this car drives in real life, of course, but 
I bet it wouldn't be this easy <laughs> to control. Uh, but on the other side, I wouldn't dare to drive uh, this fast in real life. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, buddy. I'm freaking... Uh, on your... Oh. Trying too hard in the last... In the last lap. But you gotta give it all, your all, of course. Oh, come on, let me get a cheeky up the inside shot here. Yes. Oh, yeah, that AI didn't know what the hell happened to him. Now these guys, they break a little early here, in my opinion. Although I went completely off track here in the last lap. So what do I know about this corner? Oh, yes. Fly on up in the inside. Third place. Can we make it the first? Come on. We gotta... F yeah, yeah, yes. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Last to first with the... BMW M1 Pro Car. Auga! That's how it's done. <laughs> Epic freaking sh stuff. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this car just brings a smile to my face. Oh lordy. Epic race, epic race, for sure. Thanks so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think of the BMW M1 Pro Car. Do you like it? Do you think it's a stupid wet shaped potato car? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and subscribe for more sim racing content. And I hope to see you in the next video. My beautiful baby girls, my beautiful baby boys, I hope you sleep tight tonight. Mm, I love you guys. And lastly, some shout outs to my Patreon subscribers and channel members. Thank you all so much for your support. It is really appreciated. Two, two, three, four. Skip, skip, do pop, a dub, a da. Rap, pop, a do pop, a dig, a dub. Boom, pop, do pop, a dub, a da. And ooga booga brain gang. Ike Maruri and Greg Masaros. Patrick Sagers and Warlike Distress and Aquarius and JR Sim Racing. Oh, you guys are the boogie diga ba -di -ba -di best. Ooh, super, 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 super cool dudes and dudettes. I don't know who you are exactly, I just know your name and I take the blame. For this song, cause it's going on for way too long. Skip it up, 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 a doo -ba -dow. See you later in my next video with all the skip it up, 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 up